New season, new ball, but not really a new ball because it's kind of the same ball as last year, but don't worry, it still has ACC. What's going on guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review of the brand new Premier League, or as I would say it because I'm not British, Premier League match ball, the Nike Merlin for the 2019-2020 season that as you can see has an all new look, kind of a strange looking match ball, but also cool at the same time. Some minor differences in comparison to last year's ball, but still maintaining the $160 retail price. So what I wanna do in today's video is take a closer look at the new design, break down the technical details of the Merlin, and also talk about the small changes that Nike have made, ultimately coming to the conclusion as to whether or not this is actually worth the $160 price tag. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around and watch the entire video and if you're interested in one of these match balls for yourself either this variation or the other variations that are available they will all be linked on the review page of my website which you can access by clicking the first link down below or the little pop-up in the corner of the screen where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive sr4u coupon codes where you can pick this ball up below its normal 160 dollars price tag if you guys do end up enjoying this video and perhaps i'd like to see more ball videos on the channel perhaps other match ball reviews or even a comparison of an entire line of balls from low end to high end don't forget to support this video with a like and let me know what you'd like to see down below in the comment section. Also, if you're new here watching for the first time and don't wanna miss out on daily content from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. So let's start by talking about the first thing that you see and that is the way that it looks. And I want you guys to leave your opinions down below in the comments as to whether or not you like the look of the new Premier League ball. Now, this one is particularly special because it celebrates the 20th anniversary of the partnership between Nike and the Premier League in regards to them providing the match ball, which is purely down to contracts. Nike pays the Premier League X amount of dollars to be the match ball provider. If Adidas came along and offered them way more money, they would be the match ball provider. That's how it works for any major tournament and or professional league. The ball itself is supposed to commemorate that 20th anniversary by way of design, supposedly inspired by the urban landscapes of England. I don't necessarily get that impression with this design. It kind of just looks like a very sleek, modern, cool looking ball. I don't see urban landscapes that much. And they've gone for an interesting color choice here with the white base, this kind of gray outline highlighting the main shape of the ball and then filling in more of that main shape. You have two of the panels filled in in black and then one of the sides filled in in pink, which apparently with this Premier League ball as well, this design will be exclusive to that particular league where historically with Nike match balls, every single league or tournament that uses the current generation Nike ball will have the exact same graphics just in different colors. Apparently these colors and these graphics will be exclusive to the Premier League, which is kind of exciting because that means that every single Nike match ball is gonna have its own unique look, which I think is a good thing. Either way, they've kept things pretty simple. I do like the fact that it does still have a white base and the color combination of the white, pink and black actually looks pretty cool when it spins. You see it quite clearly, which is always a signature element of Nike match balls. And for the most part, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Which brings us to the ball itself, which is almost identical to last year's ball, which was an all new design introducing brand new panel shapes. And of course, the very important feature that is ACC technology that as we saw throughout last year's Premier League season had a huge impact on absolutely nothing. The one change they have made is down to the micro texturing on the ball that you can see has a brand new pattern to it. It's very easy to see in the black bits. It's a little bit more difficult to see in the pink bits. And then you can see along the edges of the parts that are still white, you have more of like a dot texturing to it. The micro texturing is something we've seen on Nike match balls for a little while now. It seems to be a pretty common thing to put on any match ball from any brand at the moment. The logic behind the micro texturing is that it just makes the surface of the ball not completely smooth. So when water makes contact with the ball, it's not necessarily going to sit on a flat surface and make it that much more slippery. So this is a grip element more than anything, not necessarily something that's super noticeable to be honest. And based on what I could tell, if you put a blindfold on me, I wouldn't be able to tell a difference between this year's match ball and last year's. As for the rest of the ball, the design is pretty simple. It features four individual panels that are fused together. The panel shape is basically these large three-sided things that are kind of highlighted in the middle in the pink and black, but they're actually a little bit larger than that. You can see the edges are really, really tight. The ball is very well constructed and the build quality 
as it should be considering the $160 price tag, is really, really good. Also something that Nike has been using on their top end match balls for a little while now are the Aero Track grooves, which look like panel separations, but you can see they don't actually go to the edge. They're not individual panels. They're simply grooves within these large panels that are supposed to allow for better airflow across the ball or more even airflow that apparently from an aerodynamic perspective benefits the overall performance of the ball. And I have to say from a performance standpoint, I've always been a big fan of Nike's match balls. I feel like for whatever reason, they seem to fly through the air a little bit faster than any other match balls that I've personally ever used, whether or not that is fact or just something that is kind of a perception of mine. I'm not entirely sure. If you've tried a lot of match balls, I guess let me know your opinion down below in the comments. But from a performance perspective, I feel like if you kick the Nike match ball straight, they go straight. There's not a lot of, I guess, wonkiness in terms of how they fly through the air, kind of like the Adidas Jabalani and to a certain extent the Telstar as well. And then of course, most importantly, we must not forget this, it does feature ACC all conditions control, which is something that is obviously very prominent on top end Nike football boots. They have now put it on match balls. They had it last season and it's really not something that you're gonna notice. So in conclusion, it's a great match ball. It looks cool, it performs the part, and it's also very well made, which means that it's going to last you a long time. Is it worth $160? Well, given the fact that it is just a very, very slight change over last year's match ball, I think if you can get last year's match ball at half price versus buying this year's match ball at full price, buying last year's is just going to be the better value and it's going to offer pretty much the exact same experience. As far as whether or not match balls are worth it in the first place, I've always said this on the channel, I think that it's worth prioritizing the ball over the boots if you're on a budget to buy both items just because the ball is the one piece of equipment that is required in order to play this sport in the first place. And as far as high-end match balls go, whether or not you think they're worth $160, they really are the best of the best as far as what you can buy and exactly what the pros use that you watch on TV. For those that will ask if it's my personal favorite match ball on the market right now, in comparison to the main three, the Nike ball, the Champions League ball from Adidas, and the Telstar World's Cup variations from the Adidas brand, this feels more like the Telstar than it does the Champions League ball, but if I had to pick between the three, it would probably be this one. Anyways guys, that's it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in this ball for yourself, either the Premier League variation that I'm holding or the generic version that's also available right now, you can click the first link down below. That's gonna take you to the review page on my website where you'll find Buy It Now links with exclusive S are for you coupon codes, you'll be able to pick this ball up below its normal $160 retail price. If you have any questions, as always, leave it down below in the comments, and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.